Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a interesting tech piece. I don't even know if you call it a tech piece. Uh, an interesting opportunity that I recently thought about and am wondering why I'm not seeing people do it, if I'm being quite honest. Now, we're looking right now at the balance data slate, into which I would like to remind everybody of what happened back in late June. They made it so that nobody had Vect anymore. Instead, it all turned into Lord of Deceit, in which each time your opponent targets a unit from their army with a stratagem, if that unit is within 12 inches of this model, increase the cost of the use of that stratagem by 1 CP. Now, naturally, people thought they could find a way to break it. And everybody was just like, wait, that means that every Archon that I have will have Lord of Deceit. And everybody's like, no, you're stupid, because the ability only activates if you're the Warlord for effect. So why would it activate if you're not the Warlord? You can only have one Warlord. Um, and, you know, Drakari still have found a way to work without this interaction, and despite everybody's bickering and battering about how, there's no way. But then, some months later, as I'm trying to wrap my head around other factions, I've come to wonder why I'm not seeing what Drukari wanted to do happen in a very popular faction. Um. Maybe it's cost. Maybe it's not, and people truly didn't think about it. And I'll be honest, this is going to give the TOs and probably call for an FAQ if people catch on to this interaction. Uh, because I don't know what the result really will be. You see, not only did everybody think that Archon, maybe you have a couple of Vect Auras and you increase the CP... And all of those auras, you know, by one. But could they overlap and stack so that if you had three Archons next to each other and somebody wanted to use a stratagem, it would cost them three CP more. Again, everybody's like, no, you're stupid. Don't try that. But what if there was actually an interaction in which you could have two Lord of Deceit auras? Well, Chaos... What the fuck are you doing where you haven't tried this yet? So, you have Cypher, who has Agent of Discord. And, you know, that is the Lord of Deceit. Each time your opponent targets a unit from their army with a stratagem, if that unit is within a foot of this model, increase the cost of that use of that stratagem by 1 CP. And you might be going... But Monster, there's absolutely no other way Chaos can have access to this Lord of Deceit. That would be unfair. But they can. And I don't think I've seen it on a list yet, and I definitely haven't seen people talk about it. So maybe I'm just out of the loop. But an ally to Chaos can have it. A pretty big one, too. Pretty sturdy one on top of that. Kairos. You've been seeing demon players bring Kairos, in which now he also has the Lord of Deceit aura, which I'm not going to read again because we, we get the damn point by now. But what I'm understanding is that if Chaos wanted to, because of Space Marines, because I, I now if somebody could tell me the lore reason why Chaos Demons and Chaos Knights can't bring Chaos Space Marines, I'd love that. But back on track, Chaos Space Marines. You can ally in Kairos. Sure, it'll cost you at least 100 or so points for some blue horrors. I don't see why you wouldn't just bring pink horrors, because they have deep strike, just like this big-ass bird. Uh, and they're pretty sturdy. So while everybody was bringing Nurglings, probably wanted to bring the blue horrors to bring Kairos, so you could have Kairos and Cypher emitting... Lord of Deceit Aura. Now, back to the possible FAQ and TO Nightmare. 
you can actually put them next to each other and they would both have their rule. Because it doesn't need Cypher to be your warlord and Kairos doesn't need to be your warlord. Nothing restricts you from having both of them. You can make a list with both of them. And you might go, well, Chaos doesn't want to spend that many points on just a bird that has okay shooting and a very durable body and some battle line when we have pretty good battle line, sure. But what if having a loan up and a deep striking monster with 20 wounds in the same general vicinity of each other made people's stratagems costs increase, increase excuse me by 2 CP because of the overlapping field. Now, I don't know if that's how that would work and if that's how that would rule. I would assume that GW would just say, hey, you can only be affected by one Lord of Deceit aura. That's what would make sense to me. However, I also now wonder if having two Lord of Deceit auras is not still good, right? Now, mind you, that is a lot of points that you are going to need, right? You need 270 and at least 200, sorry, another, what, 110, 100? 125. Sure. Oh, those are pink horrors. No, pink horrors, 140. Blue horrors. Where are we at? Blue horrors. I could have sworn I clicked on you, but then we got sent to the Shadow Realm. 125. Okay, so 125. So 395, so about 400 points. All right. For this package of. Deep striking, infiltrating, blue horrors. That uh, pretty sturdy because they have a four up in phone and they become brimstone horrors. And Cairo's Fate Weaver, twenty wounds, T ten, twelve inch move, okay shooting, okay melee, two D three, yeah, you know, per attack. But double Lord of Deceit auras, right? So we see you could have that affecting a lot of your opponent's army. Now, I do want to go to say the thing that even got me onto this video is I was wondering if we've been seeing people bring their Lord of Deceit characters. But Drukhari have been bringing Archons. We've seen... Space Wolves continue to bring Bjorn. Us Tyranid players, the Swarm Lord is hit or miss in some lists. Okay? I've seen Demons bring Kairos. We all seen Chaos bring Cypher. And of course, we're seeing every Imperium army that possibly can bring the Kalidus. So, you tell me why you're not bringing both Cypher and Kairos when the opportunity is there. Besides, for points. And even then, personally, now, I'm no tourney winner. I'll give you that. But it sounds like that's really effective. The other thing that I found about people talking about the new Vect is that it only really does amazing into melee armies. Which is understandable. Because those are the ones that are going to get close to 12 inches. They want to get stuck in really quickly. But, may I remind you, that Kairos Deep Strikes. So, if you want, you can put a T10 4 up in Vuln 20 Wound Bird somewhere uh, Deep Strikey with a 12 inch move and fly. Um, somewhere to cover whatever doesn't want to come out behind hiding. He also has indirect fire if you really want to go that route. Now, mind you, with indirect, you can't hit better than a four. But the option's still there if you want to tuck Kairos behind a wall that actually can block him while Tau shooting tries to do Tau shooting things. Or maybe Astra Militarum that we've seen take on the rise also tries to use their indirect fire back and forth. The point is, 
that if you want to get Cairo somewhere, you can get them there. And as we've seen people do time and time again, we've seen them put Cypher in places. So, I ask once again, Chaos, why aren't you using this? And I'll take this up a notch to a Chaos Detachment that hasn't seen pretty good results, has not has not been doing too hot, and I want to bump this up a notch to ask that I know this is probably stupid. Now, stick with me. I know this one's stupid, but it could be really fucking funny if your opponent cannot use stratagems for most of the game when they want to. Why wouldn't they be able to do that besides it costing too fucking much? What if they're also battle shocked? Yeah, I'm talking about Dread Talons. You Night Lords players, why not make it so that you have a bunch of shit that triggers battle shock test? Subtracting one from the result if one or more heretic has started units are within that 12 inches. So their battle shock can't use stratagems. And if they aren't battle shocked, they're within range of Cypher or Cairo, so that it'll cost more. I think you'll find that'll be a pretty good way of turning off things like Armor of Contempt. Right? But hey, that's just a theory. I don't play Chaos Space Marines. Or not yet, maybe. We'll see. But I think I just want to make this quick video about an interaction that really I think you need to take a look at. So, if you liked the video, like it. Got a comment for me, comment. And until next time, peace out, my monstrosities.